I've been around and doing it But now it's my time to shine and start proving it I'm losing it, I'm moving it The city is where I'm made Bostonian flow, I kick it a back day Yeah, I got game, got in a fan way We the city of the champs, every sport we play Spit wetter than the harbor, yeah, I'm flowing like the Charles I be speeding on this beat, call it Turnpike Miles Yeah, it's Google signing on, John to the Hancock and Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Once a Week. I'm Billy J. Ludis. I've got an interesting topic for you guys today. One that I think we can all relate to in some regards, because we're all around this every single day. And that is people. But more importantly, the first reactions we have towards people. And the only reason why I want this to be this week's message is because I really started to observe how people respond to each other today. Or in all honesty, just how people communicate to each other today. Because there are so many limitations being put on people to stop them from excelling just from that. So why not make it a topic to try and break those limitations? And you'll see what I mean by these limitations because they're obvious at times but most of us don't even know we're creating them because they're just the norm for us. And truthfully, it could be how we were raised that's causing it. But if you switch that, it not only helps you grow, but it could be the best thing for someone else that you come across. Now that being said, guys, let's get right into it. See, with my work as a therapeutic mentor and trying to help kids with the mind and try to get them on the right track, more often than not, you see a kid who feels they don't have any chances, they feel limited, and they feel like they can't change anything in their life. But then when I get brought in the case, one, I try to figure out why they think this way, and two, I try to pull them out of that limiting mindset to see their own potential. And over time, the success and strides they make is absolutely incredible. But it all stems from that idea. They can't see their own potential until someone points it out to them. But in the world that we live in today, how many people respond to your potential first? The numbers are getting thinner and thinner. Because more often than not, people will see your problems and overlook your potential. This doesn't just go for therapeutic mentoring. This goes for the world. More often than not, people will see your negatives and speak to those and judge you off those first. Thus creating a negative mindset for the person, a negative environment, and limitations on that potential. My thing is, why not switch that? When you're talking to someone else, are you speaking to their potential? Or are you speaking to their problems? Are you adding more limitations by adding to the problem? Or are you unlimiting that person by speaking about the potential they have to change their situation? See, whether it's a kid trying to get on the right track, or someone you just come across, or even a family member, if you speak to them and treat them how they are, they'll remain how they are. But if you speak to them and treat them how they could be, they'll become who they could be. I've seen proof firsthand time and time again that we are and you are more than your problems. Now, see, there's a key point here. A lot of people in the world today have taken on a judge first mentality. We'll judge people off of how they look, how they talk, what their job is, their income. That list is honestly endless. And in our judging first and not wanting to communicate or understand where someone is coming from, we lock that person's potential away just a little bit more. People now listen to respond instead of listening to understand. What if you took a second? with people you come across to actually hear what they're telling you. 
And instead of listening to respond to them out of your first reaction, you paused to listen, to understand, so you can give them the response that could help that person instead of turning them away or writing them off. How we respond and communicate to others could be the difference maker in someone's life. And you could be the one they thank for that because you didn't write them off right away. You didn't judge them on who they are, but rather saw who they could become. And you didn't just listen to respond to them, but understood them to give them a better answer. That's a formula for helping someone. A kid, a teenager, an adult who was stuck in a matter of one conversation. It's something to think about. So why not think about it? Until next week, guys. I've been around and doing it, but now it's my time to shine and start proving it. I'm losing it, I'm moving it. The city is where.